Hi, I'm Thomas Small with New Flyer. We're here at a new product development facility. Uh, tell us about this exciting project here that you folks are developing. Well, we're developing an all-electric bus for the transit market. We have uh, uh, this program that's really new to us. We've done hybrid vehicles and trolley vehicles in the past, and this is groundbreaking technology for us. Sure, there's some other, uh, some competition out there, uh, mostly uh, uh, in other parts of the world, but they, uh, uh, for, for us, this is, this is groundbreaking for us. So a completely and totally electric bus. There's a lot of batteries, and just behind you is the space where all the batteries would be taken up. What type of batteries are we talking about here? Well, we're talking about lithium-ion batteries, uh, such as what you see in your cell phone. So what are the challenges of developing this? Uh, the challenge is really uh, is uh, how, much, how many batteries do we need? How much range do we need? And our, and our uh, customers all have different operating operations, and they... They, they're going to require different things. So that's one of the challenges. Another major one is, uh, is how do we charge these batteries? These, uh, and that will determine how many batteries we have on board, whether they're fast charge or a slower charge type of operation. What's your background? Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, I'm a mechanical engineer. I come from the uh, University of Manitoba. I've been at uh, New Flyer for uh, over 10 years now uh, in uh, mostly this facility here in uh, new product development, lots of new projects. Um, prior to that, I was uh, at Versatile and uh, worked in the tractor industry for uh, five years right after school. How exciting is this to be a part of really what is cutting edge technology, not just for Winnipeg, not just Manitoba, Canada, North America, but worldwide. You have some incredible partners, Mitsubishi is one, Manitoba Hydro is another, but just being part of the ground floor of uh, development here. I absolutely, I'm thrilled. This is... Uh, I, this is the, uh, one of the, the groundbreaking technology. We're, uh, we're developing something that will be the future. This, uh, this type of um, operation, and uh, I hope to see uh, every city have this type of, this type of uh, ability to be able to run on electric buses. Well, we think Manitoba. We have a lot of diesel buses, and uh, the, the challenges of uh, electric buses, not just from a propulsion standpoint, but also from heating in the winter, cooling in the summer, those are part of the challenges of electricity as well. What is the biggest obstacle that you have to overcome? Is it the size of the batteries? Is it the charge that they hold? Is it the, the way you, uh, you charge them up? What's, what's the next best big thing that you have to solve before this just becomes so mainstream? Well, first of all, we, we have to make sure the vehicle operates well. You know, we've, we've got uh, the, uh, how do the batteries interface with the bus? How long do we get? We've got to make the system work. The, uh, like I mentioned, we've uh, uh, been a hybrid supplier for years, so we, we understand a lot of the power electronics, but how does the batteries interface with the rest of the bus? How do we make that system work? How do we get the reliability we're looking for for, all, for, this, for this type of vehicle? We're going to see uh, this form of vehicle on the streets of Winnipeg in the months ahead. That must be pretty exciting. It is. It is great. Uh, I, can't, uh, I can't wait to be, uh, be a part of it and be able to, uh, to do these types of things that uh, we can really promote uh, New Flyer and this type of technology coupled with Manitoba Hydro. We have, uh, uh, we have a great opportunity here in, in Manitoba where we can take diesel buses off and all the, uh, all the greenhouse gases that they emit and replace them with clean uh, hydroelectric power generated power. It's, it's great for the environment. For those listening and watching right now who are saying, well, yeah, but will I have to get off the bus while it charges? Will you be able to take that bus ride and it'll be just like today, except it'll be a lot quieter? That's precisely it. The bus will look no different than in a regular diesel bus. It'll sound different though. Uh, electric cars are very quiet. Electric buses will be quiet as well. Uh, you'll actually end up hearing stuff that you'd never heard before, and you'll be concerned about that. Uh, other situations uh, where there was someone's actually expecting a noise from the bus, we may have to add some uh, noise generators in order to, to achieve that, so that uh, those people who, who are expecting a, a particular noise actually will hear it. Well, we wish we could show the rest of this bus, but that's how top secret this project is right now. We look forward to hearing and seeing more about it in the weeks and months to come. I thank you so very much for joining us. Thank you very much, Richard.